me at all Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too You can ride out the blue I wanna do what you want to We can leave and run away Someday Someday This is everything that we picked up for this week. We have some food items, some non-food items. Um, so we're gonna start on this side. First thing we have is some candied cookie, M&M candies, cookies. Um, my son, my, my, my youngest son loves these, but all my kids will eat them. And then just some triple filled strawberry, strawberry cheese braid Danish some bananas some sola bread this is like a low carb bread it's sweet this is in the sweet oat flavor they have i think three different flavors um and it's only two carbs and then we have some of the regular captain john durst bread under here we have two of the walmart pizzas out of the deli um and then we have some nacho cheese taco shells Two boxes of bagel bites, um, the value pack of Rice Krispie treats, um, vanilla and almond special K, family size Captain Crunch, some Roger Wood lumberjack sausages, um, Zatarain's honey butter cornbread. Y'all, this is some really, really good cornbread. I love this cornbread. Some ranch wheat thins, peanut butter cream pies, star crunches, mandarin oranges, and orange flavor gel. We have two of these. My daughter loves these. She loves to, when she comes home from school, she loves to snack on these. Um, and then we have some eggs, Kraft Singles cheese, Simply Cheeto Puffs white cheddar. They're the white cheddar. Cheeto puffs, these are really good too. I love to snack on these. And a party pack of pizzas, a 10 pack of the Doritos, 
We have great value sugar, some self-rising flour. We have four of the ham and cheese Lunchables, some sliced chopped honey ham, or, oh, I thought I grabbed honey, but I accidentally grabbed original. Um, I'm just not gonna tell my daughter that it's the original because she likes the honey ham. Um, two packs of the McCormick Mild Taco Seasoning, and this is the low sodium. We have some lemonade, orange Kool-Aid, we have a small pack of ground beef. I use this pack when I like to make, um, like when we have taco night and, or if I make me some quesadillas. I use this because this is just enough um, because my oldest son doesn't eat tacos or quesadillas or anything. So this is just enough for me and my daughter. And sometimes my youngest son will eat tacos. I guess he has to be in the mood for it. And also, my mom does eat tacos, so um, this this is still enough for the three of us. Cause, like I said, my oldest, my youngest son doesn't always eat them. So, and then I got a big pack of the ground beef for spaghetti. Then we have a big pack of the pork chops, and these are just the center cut chops. And then we have some queso. Um, I don't know if y'all have y'all if any, let me know if any of y'all do this. I like to put this on my taco. I don't know why, but I love the way this tastes on a taco. Then we have some daisy sour cream. Y'all leave in the comments what do y'all eat on y'all's tacos? Fully cooked chicken nuggets, a bag of pizza rolls, a bag of the crinkle cut fries, the great value brand. Um, and then we have some zero sugar Coca-Cola, some Gatorade for the kids. Um, this is my water. This is the um, Essentia brand. Um, and this is an alkaline water. And um, that's the reason that I buy this brand is because it's an alkaline water. Um, they say alkaline water is supposed to be good for you, um, for your body. So I buy that. And then I got three of these. Um, this is the Synergy Raw Kombucha Guava Goddess flavor, and it's supposed to be full of probiotics. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, then you already know how I feel about these. But y'all, these things are amazing. I love these. I bought one. I saw them in the gro in Walmart the last time I bought grocery, I think. And I bought one just in this flavor just to try it because this flavor looked really good. Um, they had like two or three other flavors. I can't remember what they were though. But they had a couple other flavors. But this one just looked good to me. And y'all, I love this. I try, I'm going I'm to start buying this every time I buy grocery because um, these things are so good. They are a little pricey. I think they were either $2.98 or $3.98 a bottle. Um, that's why I only got three of them, but I usually don't drink the whole bottle in a day. I probably drink about half of it one day and then I'll drink half of it the next day. So it does last me a little while. Um, but these things are so good. And the best way that I could think to describe the taste of it is kind of, it kind of reminds me of like a grapefruit juice. Um, it's not a strong grapefruit juice like taste or flavor. It's just like a a hint of it like the grapefruit is not like an overwhelming taste um but that's what it reminds me of it's kind of like a grapefruit type of drink but it oh i love this this is so good but i love grapefruit juice so if you if, i still would say try it even if you like don't like grapefruit juice because it's not a strong grapefruit juice flavor um but i i love it y'all i just love those i do recommend trying them and then we have some milk back here. We have some ranch, some ketchup, ragu sauce for spaghetti. And then I just got a four pack of the Starbucks caramel frappuccino. Um, and then for non-food items, y'all know I love my ocean mist downy. I got my scent beads in the downy light ocean mist. And then I also needed some more laundry pods. 
I use this because my son has um, eczema, so I have to buy that. And then we have Versatile OxyClean. And then we got some Dawn Platinum Easy Squeeze. Um, have y'all seen these new bottles? I love these bottles. You just, even after, all you do is when you get ready to use it, you just squeeze it and it squeezes out and you sit it back down and it doesn't make a mess. It doesn't drip. You don't have to worry about it getting all in the top and the top being messy. But I just, I love this new bottle. And then over here, we have some pedigree puppy food for Prince. And then y'all know I'm getting ready to redo um, or well not redo but clean and organize my closet um, because my mom just moved in and I'm trying to make room for her so I got some stuff to try to help with that so I got some of these little bins these were only like four dollars I think four eighty six or something like that I got two black ones and then I got two of the gray ones to put anything like small things um, that we can store in these and store in the closet and put it on the top of the rack that way it's not like taking up space in the room on the dresser or on my desk or anything like that and then i just got two of these over the door hangers for like maybe robes or purses or whatever we need to hang up um and then i just got this little small um shoe rack it's a four-tier shoe rack i think it says it holds up to like 12 pairs of shoes i also got this to put in the closet um and then i also ordered some hangers on from amazon some new hangers um to put our clothes on once i go through and declutter my clothes and she's gonna declutter her clothes um so those should be here those are supposed to be here today um but yeah y'all that is it for our grocery haul before I get the grocery put up, I also wanted to show y'all, um, this is the furniture that I have now. Y'all know I don't like this furniture. I have been wanting to get new furniture, but it just hasn't been in the budget. But I wanna get something lighter, but until then, um, my mom has some furniture. It's fairly new furniture. She recently bought it. So she's that's supposed to come today, be delivered here today. So my brother, he's he needed new furniture, so I'm gonna give him this furniture to put in his house um and then my mom is gonna put her furniture in here and i'm not sure how it's gonna match because it doesn't really go her furniture is a little lighter than this one um but it's still dark it's like i think it's brown like a shade of brown um so i don't know how it exactly how it's gonna look but i don't plan on having it forever because I want to get some light gray furniture to put in here. But until then, um, her furniture will work. And um, I like her furniture just because her furniture is still a couch and a love seat. But her furniture reclines. So, um, y'all don't mind Prince's mess he just made. He just completely destroyed the puppy pad I had in his cage. Um, not that he uses it anyway, but he still didn't have to destroy it like that so i gotta clean that up but her furniture does recline so she's gonna put her furniture in here and then my brother is gonna get this furniture um it's supposed to be here today like i said so i'll try to get a clip of that of that in this video to show y'all if it doesn't get here too late um just so y'all can see the new furniture now let's get this grocery put away Y'all, I'm sitting here editing this video and I just realized that I didn't do an intro for this video. So, um, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Erica. I'm a single mom of three and we do mobile home living. And on my channel, you'll see anything and everything that a mom does from cleaning and laundry motivation, grocery hauls, DIYs, mobile home makeovers, just anything that a mom does, you'll see on my channel. So, I hope you guys will subscribe and join our family. And today, we are just going to be doing a... This is a day in the life of a single mom video where I have to do some um, grocery shopping. I had to do a little bit of laundry um, and I show you guys the new furniture. And I'm also going to insert a clip of my mom making low con her low country shrimp and grits. So I hope you guys will enjoy the video.
be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely We could be gazing at the stars But now it feels just like I wandered off into a room And closed the door behind me I never gave the key to you Even though I wanted to I should be trying something new But now my body's aching I'm tired of dwelling in the dark It's just that my heart can't take it I didn't know what it would cost me When I let you go I feel alone And I'm just singing mm, mm, mm. It should have been you Another time, another place I just know mm, It could have been you What a crime and what a shame to let go Sometimes I just don't know what to do It should have been you I could be driving to your place But now the crown is shaking Could be a face but it feels like It will never go away Until we make up I can't be myself I never knew how much I needed you Should have been you Another time, another place I just know Y'all, this is the new furniture that I just got um, from my mom. This is my mom's furniture. Um, it is a different color brown, and it does recline. Y'all let me know how y'all think it matches with everything that is in here. So you guys ask me a lot about cooking and I don't do a lot of cooking on my channel. I've said many times that I hate cooking um, and some of you have asked if I could show um, my mom cooking and she didn't want to be on camera but she did agree to let me show her hands and show her just making the meal. So today we are going to be making um, her low country shrimp and grits recipe um, y'all this I love this meal this is so good I love when she makes it um, so here she is just seasoning the shrimp and I did show you guys a clip of all of the seasoning she used um, but when I showed that I don't think she had the Cajun seasoning out yet um, she did also use Cajun seasoning in this um, and she does not do any measurements. Um, she just eyeballs everything. But I would probably say she probably used about a teaspoon or not a teaspoon, a tablespoon of each seasoning on the shrimp. And now she is just cutting up the bacon. And you just fry up your bacon and get it really crispy. And then once the bacon is crispy, you will see her... Well, I don't think I got her actually taking it out, but I do show you a clip of 
what the bacon looked like after she got done and here it is this is the bacon and she did leave the bacon grease in the pan and she's just adding a little more oil to the pan and then she is um, frying the shrimp in just some flour some seasoned flour with the same seasoning as the shrimp I think she seasoned the flour did she no she did not I take that back she did not season the flour because she seasoned the shrimp she did not season the flour but she is just flouring the shrimp and then you just fry up the shrimp which is what you see her doing here she's getting it ready and then she's now she is making the grits and she's just using the this is the Quaker I think it's like five minute grits um, and she's just measuring because um, we were having some extra eaters at our table I guess we have my um, what um, Two, my nep two of my nephews were here so they were going to be eating with us as well so she was just adding extra um, and then she's just putting some salt in the grits and she's going to stir the grits and you just cook the grits um, like you would normally cook your grits um, the, if you've never cooked grits before the instructions are on the bag um, it tells you what to how much grits for and how much water how much salt for each serving now she's just frying up the shrimp she's dropping it in the grease and she's frying it um, and you just fry the shrimp as as you would normally fry your shrimp or anything that you fry but y'all this I love this meal this is a really really good meal I love when she makes it um, if you're from South Carolina or from the low country then you know you definitely know about this meal um, you can get it in restaurants it, and when you get it in restaurants though it it is definitely a pricey meal now I'm just showing you guys the overview of it and she does add cheese to her um, grits when she makes this and she's just using the regular great value brand sharp cheddar cheese and I think she I don't think I got it but I think she added a little bit of butter in the grits as well And if y'all try, if y'all try, any of y'all try this recipe, y'all have to let me know how you like it, cause I, I love this. My, I love it. My kids love it. And now that she's back home with me, she can make it for me all the time. Well, not all the time, cause y'all. I think I told y'all before. She works nights through the week, um, so the only time she'll be able to cook is um, on Saturday and Sunday. So. If I do ever get to film her like making a meal it'll only be um, maybe once a week because I mean she only can cook Saturday or Sunday because she works through the week so I'll try to is try to get throw in a, um, if I can get if I can get it once a week I'll in one of my videos I'll try to get her cooking a meal once a week and put in the video for y'all because apparently y'all like cooking because I got a lot of people asking about if she, if I could get her to her to um, cook and now she's just making the gravy and she's just adding some flour to make to the she drained most of the grease off and just left a little and she's adding some flour to make um, the roux and she did um, you'll see in just a minute she does season this this with some Old Bay as well and she normally would add um, some onions to this but we didn't have any onions so she didn't add any onions but once you get the roux going you just throw throw some onions in if you want onions if you like onions I personally don't like onions so I'm glad we didn't have any for her to throw in there but if you like onions then you could definitely um, there she goes she just threw some Old Bay in there um, but if you like onions you could definitely throw some onions in there I think she's even used um, some bell peppers in it before and it, it was still good all it does is just add more flavor it adds more flavor to the to the gravy that the goes on top of the grits 
and then you're going to see her over here she's adding a little bit of water because she did make the gravy just a little too thick so she's just adding a little bit of water to loosen it up but you could also use um, like some type of broth if you didn't want to use water you could use a broth to um, loosen it up a little and then she's just throwing the shrimp back in there and just stirring it and she just lets this simmer I think she let, let it simmer and um, let some of the shrimp cook up she didn't add all the shrimp because my kids um, they don't like the shrimp in the gravy they just like the regular fried shrimp so they don't eat this so she didn't put all of the shrimp in there she only put enough in there for me and a little in there for her um, so she didn't add a lot of shrimp that's why you don't see a lot of shrimp in the pan and then you just let it simmer for a little bit and let the um, shrimp cook simmer in the gravy I think she probably let it simmer for about five minutes or so and now she's just plating it up and y'all we cooked some she also cooked some um, Grand's, I think they're the Grand's biscuits to go with this. And y'all, this was, oh my gosh, it was so, so good. I definitely recommend y'all trying this recipe if you like shrimp and grits, if you've ever had it. If you haven't had it, then I definitely, definitely recommend it because y'all, this is a really, really good meal. I definitely recommend anybody trying it. Or if you don't want to cook it at home and there's a restaurant that you could get it from, just get it from the restaurant. But y'all, it is so, so good. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars mm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope
Alright you guys, so this video is coming to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed this day in the life and I also hope you enjoyed the little cooking portion with my mom cooking. And if you guys try the recipe, please um, leave me a comment and let me know what you guys think of it and how you liked it because we love it. And as always, if you made it this far in the video, um, please leave a pink heart in the comment section down below. And if you like this type of content, then I hope you will hit that subscribe button and join our family. And make sure your notification bell is on so you don't miss any of my future videos. And I'm hoping to have the closet video, closet organization video up really soon. Um, you guys don't want you guys don't want to miss it. So um, make sure you got your notification bell turned on. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.